Okay, you ready for this? Where's your Halloween costume? See? That's a horrible costume. What are you, anyway? I don't fire. Go on now. No. Take those things out of your face. Nobody can understand a word you're saying. Welcome to the Halloween special. Here. As per request, one of our most devoted patrons, I shall now read this letter. Wait, no. That's not what it says. Just read what it says. Dear millions of dedicated fans and patrons, I apologize that you did not enjoy the awesomeness that was last year's Halloween special. That's not what it says. Can you even read? You do not have a Patreon account, let alone millions of fans. You'll be lucky if you have one fan after the mess you call last year's Halloween special. I have you know that my agent claims that I have 2.3 million patrons and climbing. Bill the Drunk is not your agent. He's a drunk. He tells you you have 2.3 million patrons? No, you might have 230 patrons in a bar because he exaggerates and the only reason why you got those is because you buy the drinks and no just read what is on the paper Fine then. you see the thing is what the f ah I, I'm not God. I cannot work with this thing. Unreal. How the hell does he not pass out from the lack of oxygen to his non-existent brain? Hey, you're all first in the Hey, all you Halloween lovers out there in Jack O'Lantern County, are you not capable of trick-or-treating? Either your parents won't take you or you're too old to trick-or-treat? Well, never fear, as we have the solution for you. Halloween Door-to-Door -door has just what you need. You just register on our website with a valid driver's license and major credit card. Be sure to ask your parents' permission if you are underage. We require your current address, how many people we would be bringing candy to, how many people would be home at the time, and what times you would be available. Halloween Door to Door is not responsible for any lost or stolen property or injuries that may occur during the visit. Please have your valid driver's license and major credit card ready at the door. So anyways, after Secret had gained his kids back, and the man had gone through the forest and up and down trying to find Halloween and had never actually found Halloween, we find ourselves in a truck on the road. The truck kept driving, and driving, and driving, and we drove completely off the paper. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Down here. Me? I'm a pumpkin. I go unnoticed all year round. Until this time. For about a month. While they sell pumpkin spice muffins, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread. They display us in the front of the store as people pick through us to take us home and cut our faces all to hell. Then stick a burning candle inside us just to display us on their lawn or doorstep as if they are proud of their job destroying us. Just for one night. All of this is just for only one night. Then we are tossed in the garbage. And that's if we even make it through that night with ruffians smashing us, animals, or accidentally being stepped on by passers-by. Not too long from now, I will be carved, as they call it. My existence will be a faded memory, as if I never even was. This is Rick Martlett apologizing for my stupid kid and his piss-poor excuse for a ridiculous video that was put out last year. 
Also, wishing you a happy my birthday. And as for that kid of mine, he's gonna get it. One Halloween night, possibly this one, who could say for sure? A man was walking through a forest on his way home. It didn't make any sense why he had entered the forest, as the road was pretty much the same distance. More of a long cut than a short. Something had beckoned him to take that path tonight. He was not entirely sure why he had taken the path either. He had walked for a few minutes now, to the point where he could no longer see the light from the road. Without being able to see, he decided to tread more cautiously than before. Ways up ahead, he could see something. Unsure what it was, he felt a chill run down his spine, which made him freeze in his tracks. The something began to move. A piercing gaze in his direction of red glowing eyes sent shudders through his soul. He thought to himself, why? Why did I wander in here in the first place? More importantly, what do I do now? He looked around, but it seemed that something was gone. He thought, it must have just been my imagination. So he continued on. As he began to continue forward, he stepped on a branch, snapping it. The sound seemed to thunder through the forest so loud that his neighbors probably heard it. It was at this very same moment he heard a horrific noise coming from behind. It could be described as a gurgling, thick, hiss-type noise. He thought, I have to get out of here. Now. He began running frantically, branches scraping his face, almost tripping him along the way. He seen a light ahead, rushing even more frantically than before due to the glimmer of hope, seeing the light at the end of the forest. As he reached the end of the forest, he was greeted by a man who was telling him all about a Halloween special he had just uploaded and how awesome it was and that the man should head home and watch it. The man's immediate thought upon hearing that was, please God, no. Then he ran, screaming, back the way he came from into the forest. Oh, hey. One of my favorite things to do at Halloween is watch scary movies. And you can't find a scarier movie than this. Roll the first one. We're coming up to the scariest part. you got to see this. Damn it. This is the right part of the movie. Happy birthday. This is the scariest part. I can't even watch. Hi, and welcome back to Animal Championship Wrestling. My name is Harry Penguin, and this is the main event. The one everybody has been waiting for. Now, let's have a quick look back at what led up to this amazing match. One month ago on Monday Night Raw, Paws cost Major Trophy Hunter the Invisible title in his match with the Invisible Man. Then... Two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Major Trophy Hunter called out Paws, challenging him to a cat in the cell match. Here comes the champ now. Major Trophy Hunter, Major Trophy Hunter, can we get a few words, please? Yeah, Harry, I got a few words for that little one foot high whisker licker. Some hairy words. Not only did you cost me the invisible title, but you also cost me the match against an opponent that no one can say for sure that I was even facing off against due to the fact that he's invisible. Then you go run in your mouth about a bunch of gibberish that no one can even understand. Does your mother know you speak this way? Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Since coming to the ACW, I've amassed quite a collection of different animals to add to my mantle. And after I get you alone tonight in that cell, it's just going to be you, me, and my revenge. Then you'll be the one, stuffed, then mounted. And after tonight, they'll be calling me Major Pussy Crusher. Well, there you have it, folks. Patch isn't starting out that good for the champ. Oz is really working that arm. He's got that arm lock in place. Champ doesn't seem to be able to escape.
Paul sends him flying into the cage. And Paul is off the ropes. Oh, and he delivers a devastating bulldog. Here comes Whiskers, Paul's his tag team partner. Oh my lord! Oh my land! Oh! The winner of this match, as a result of a disqualification, Major Trophy Hunter. This is Rick Bartlett reminding my stupid kid not to dress up as me for Halloween. Because he knows he's already going to get it. For making me look so ridiculous in last year's Halloween video. Welcome to Horror Fest 20 whatever year it is. I have a very special treat for you tonight. Being that I'm an avid collector of many rare and obscure horror films, I thought tonight we would take a look at some of the gems from my personal collection. This first one is sure to keep you awake all night. Let's take a look. Must have dozed off there for a sec. This next one is much scarier than the last. I dare you to watch it alone in the dark. Roll the clip. Yeah, I bet that really scared the daylights out of you. Our last one promises to keep you on the edge of your seat. It appeared late one evening. No one knows what it is or where it came from. Just that it kills a lot. Our story takes place on a regular night. A man was taking a shortcut home from his atmosphere therapy when suddenly his fear of Atmos caused him to hold his breath too long, resulting in his death. Two miles up the road, another man was walking his pet brick, when out of nowhere the pet brick jumped off a cliff. Being that the brick was so heavy, it pulled the man off the cliff with it, sending him hurtling to his death. Sadly, the man nor the brick ever recovered. At the exact same moment up the road a man was walking. All seemed quiet, but it was too quiet. He tried to stay calm, but it was no good. The silence had got to him and slowly drove him mad. Instantaneously, his head exploded, causing his death. Hey, so it's almost Halloween, and you need a pumpkin carved, but you don't know how to carve pumpkins. That's okay, neither do I. So uh, it can't be that hard. We can figure it out together. So first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a pumpkin. And then you want to get yourself a knife or a sharp object, something like that. And then what you want to do is you just want to start digging in there somewhere with that knife. And ow, fuck, oh my god, Christ, Jesus, fuck, Here, let fuck me sakes. See. Oh my, oh my god. god, somebody get an ambulance. Oh, Who gave this idiot a knife? Oh. Will you carve this for me? Well, they got me all patched up. So let's start over again. Step one, get a pumpkin. Step two, get someone else to carve that pumpkin. Step three, a carved pumpkin. And you're good to go. So just remember, whenever you need a pumpkin carved, 
Always ask a real adult to do it for you. Where, where is my, my golem? Come, golem, come. Golem. Ah, there you are. Bring me the McTivy. <laughs> you will soon be joined by another. Yes. Yes, my kitties. Quiet. some glass roads. Yes, a little bit of glass roads in there. Yes. Maybe some eye of puppet. Yes, just a little bit of eye of puppet in there. some candle of wax. It'll be awesome. We can totally do this. Well, considering the fact that I'm out here trying to work on the fucking Christmas special, and you're still trying to work on part of the Halloween special, which was released two months ago, do you have any concept of what silly is? Do you have any idea what silly is? A world of cats? Are you fucking kidding me? This is nowhere near silly enough for one of my videos. Nowhere's near. You're done. That's it. Done. World of fucking cats. Jesus Christ. Let my cat out of there. This is Rick Bartlett. No, this is Rick Bartlett.
No, I'm playing Dad in the scene. I thought I was playing Rick in the scene. No, 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 no. I mean, I really look at you. The hair's all wrong. Okay, I, I mean, you got a keyboard. Um, okay, let's let's see your impression. Now you're in for it. No, no, no that's, that's completely wrong. It's, you're gonna get it. Now you're in for it. No, no, it's, it, you're gonna get it. Now you're in for it. No, you're, you're gonna get it. Now you're in for it. No. Have I ever got a surprise for you? Check out this awesome sneak preview of the upcoming Halloween special for 2018. Oh my god, I freaking love you. Let's go. This is Rick Bartlett letting my stupid kid know that I am not a cat and not to be impersonated as a cat in future videos. And he's going to get it. Well, today, kids, we'll be reading from our Halloween storybook. Let's take a look in here. Forgot mask. Oh, that's right. Let's see here. Okay, so let's take a look in this book. Forgot your foot. Right. But you can't forget the foot. Well, let's see what's in Don't this Don't forget book. your blood. Right, right. Let's see what's in this book. Your second here. mask. Right. And the bowl. With a surprise special guest appearance from the one and only Reefer Man. Well, that's it for the Halloween special. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Um, on a serious note, though, make sure that whatever you're trick-or-treating, to go with friends, family, a loved one, someone you trust, never go trick-or-treating alone. Uh, when carving a pumpkin, remember to always ask someone very, very nicely to carve it for you because it's really dangerous. Uh, and also never accept candy from strangers unless it's candy you really like. No, it's don't accept candy from strangers, period. Okay, Grandpa. Now, some strangers have really, really good candy. Just throwing it out there. Are you insane? You have no idea where that candy's been. I know where that candy's going to be when I get my hands on it. That's ridiculous. It could be poison or something. And then what are you going to do? Hey, I hope that's who I think it is. You're expecting someone? Where did I put that credit card? Don't answer that door! Okay.